Alright, what is up YouTube? This is Chris or Lunar Man, and today I'm bringing you another Photoshop tutorial. Um, because I hadn't played much, or I don't have any recorded League of Legends, and I kind of want to do this. So today, I will be showing you how to create a, uh, like, avatar thumbnail for your web page. Okay, so first thing you want to do is open up your software of choice. Mine is definitely Photoshop. Um, and Illustrator, uh, but if you if you use GIMP or like Paint.net, you can probably do about the same steps, just different buttons and stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to File, I'm going to go to New, and since we're creating a square, I want to change this to Pixels, and I will make it um, let's do let's do 500 by 500. Um, and this might be too big, but if it is, it'll be easy to resize just because, you know, it's, it's supposed to be a perfect square. So we're going to create the square. And right now it's a little bit big, so, you know, um, in your avatar it'll probably be, it may be this big. And, you know, whatever. So I'm going to zoom back in. Well, it's too big. Okay. Get it about right here. Um, and for this video, I am uh, recording with OBS, and I am at home now, so I have two monitors. So, like, I have the thing going on this video, and I can move my mouse over here, and I see the OBS stream right here, which you can't see, but, yeah. Um, okay, so first thing you want to do is you got, you got to kind of figure out what you want to do. Do you want a picture in your background? Do you want just a plain color background with text? Or um, So we're going to start with those two things. So let's say you want a plain color background with just text. And then after that we can do like a picture background with text over the picture. Okay, so let's say um, for my channel, or let's let's just create a channel. Let's, let's make it like um, Fimcar Studios. Okay, that's our channel name, Fimcar Studios. Uh, so first thing we want to do, so here's the background. Let's create a new layer. And this layer... Um, whenever I name it can be called background color um, and you just want to get the rectangle tool which is right here click it and drag a box over your image and the fill in the box up at the top um, can be blue just to see if it worked okay so it worked um, Okay, so now we have a blue, we have a, not really blue, it's like turquoise box. Um, and I can kind of tell that it didn't cover the box all the way over here, so you can, on, on Windows, you can do Control T and select all, and you can actually drag it to the box right there and hit Enter. On a Mac, it'd be Command T. <clears throat> so here we have our box. Uh, so we need to create another layer and name this one Text. Not Test, Text. Um, and you want to grab your text tool, which is this, but you can also press T if you're in Photoshop and it brings it up. And let's do some type. Right now I have it on the American Captain. Um, that's what I've been using for a lot of my stuff. I will probably change it just for the sake of the video. Maybe you want to do something cool. I got this on here. I think I've downloaded it. Um, okay, so we got the Fimcar Studios. Bimcar Studios. Okay, so here's our text. You can move it around anywhere you want. Um, do Control T, select it, make it a little bit bigger. Um, and I guess now it's time for our first critique. Um, if somebody were to see this, I think it'd be a little bit hard to read. So maybe you wouldn't want to choose this font. Uh, so let me get the text tool again and highlight it. And let's do let's do Century Gothic. That's a pretty that's a pretty clean font. Century Gothic. That's I don't know. It's kind of nice. It's kind of too clean for YouTube. And see now you see it's kind of too wide. So you just want to get your text tool and put a break in it. And let's move it over. Maybe we can put it right there. Okay. So say this is all you wanted to do. I mean this would work. It'd get the point across. You know, um, whatever. Uh, but now we got to think of like composition because I don't think you can make you can make it bold, so it's a little bit better. And me personally, I would want to capitalize the S if it's like this. So we have our text, we have our background. I would want to think of composition. Center composition is pretty good. Um, if you did that though, you'd want to select T and select your text and come up here and make it centered completely. But me personally, 
I don't really like centered. Um, just I don't know, just because. So I'm gonna select T again, select it, and do. It's called left justified, and you can drag it like maybe right here in the top corner. Try to keep it even between the top and the side. Like you don't want to do it like this because that just looks kind of weird. It just looks like it's randomly placed. If you want to do it in the bottom, you know, top right there and right there. Um, and you can also make it right justified. So do your type tool. And then come up here and click this and grab your pointer and now you can move it like over here or maybe like up here or maybe you want it in the middle. That looks pretty cool, you know, coming from a design standpoint. Um, okay, so let's say you don't want to do like the whole name. So Fimcar Studios, how could we shorten that? We could call it Fimcar. We could call it FS for short. So let's say we do FS. Um, so type tool again. Just type in FS. And I kind of want to put an extra space in it. Okay, so let's do Command T, select it all, make it a tad bit bigger. Ooh, okay, so let's maybe, okay, so this looks pretty cool. Maybe um, do apply, put one more space in it, and in the middle spot, you put a line. That looks pretty cool. But you also got to remember, I am a graphic designer, so this would be more of like a sleek, clean avatar. If you're going for like a more like game-oriented avatar, I will show you how to do that in just a second. Um, but this looks pretty cool so far. I think I want to keep this um, for the final thing um, for Femcar Studios. Um, okay, so let's... I'm, I can... Actually, I think I'm going to stop the video right now and do it like in two parts because what happened was I had a three gigabyte video and when I uploaded on my internet at home, my internet at home is pretty fast, but it still is going to take like a thousand minutes. So I want this one to be like short and sleek and to the point. But anyway, okay, so getting back to where you want. Uh, if you do type, make sure the for tips for like type on a blank background. If you do type, make sure that it's readable. Um, make sure that somebody can read it when it's small. So what we could do is hit Z for the zoom tool and click Alt and zoom out. Pretty small. Okay, we can still read it, so that's good. Um, it's too big. <laughs> and uh, make sure that it's you know good colors. Like I wouldn't want to make this. Hang on, uh, change the colors. See if this does it. No, that doesn't do it. Um, hang on just a second. Okay, here we go. So change the colors. Like I don't, you wouldn't want to make this red because that just it's kind of hard to read. It's kind of distracting. Black would look okay. Uh, maybe even gray. Gray looks pretty cool. But like, you wouldn't want to do it like green or like purple because it's just kind of weird. I mean that looks kind of cool too. But okay, so say you want to make it purple, but then your background color you got some crazy color too. So let's uh, select the background. And will this change it? No, it won't change it. Hang on. I'm a Photoshop noob. Okay, here we go. Okay, what I did is I select this pointer tool right here, and I just selected the background. And then you go up here to fill. So, like, I don't know, that still looks okay. But uh, things to stay away from is just a solid color, like this blue, like a royal blue. And then, like, if you were to do the text, like, hang on, I'll show you what the text looks like if you do it. Um, let me select the text, text tool. Like, if you were to make the text red, like bright red, you want to stay away from, like, the complete contrast of colors, like, not bright yellow, not bright red, not bright blue, not bright green. Maybe tone it down a little bit, give it some white, give it some black. But, like, this, this, it, it kind of, it vibrates, like, the F against the blue vibrates, and it makes it, it hurts it hurts your eyes a little bit so let's hit the zoom see if it's easy to read I mean it's still easy to read but you just want to stay away from it so that people don't see it and they're like ah my eyes okay but I'm gonna end this tutorial right now and I'll probably make another one right after this and maybe upload it within a day's time um, tell me if this helped tell me if this is like something everybody already knows this is definitely a more beginner tutorial than the last one um, so give me some feedback, tell me if this sucked, tell me if like, what I should do next, but I will, of course you want to 
save as desktop I'll do logo for YouTube and you want to go format save it as a JPEG you save uh, you can leave it about 10 12 is the highest and there we go so thank you guys for watching give me some feedback tell me if this sucked and I will see you guys later